Well, hey everybody and welcome back. Today, I wanted to do a review of the Terra Firma Overland Summit Quad Rooftop Tent. I think this is the ultimate rooftop tent if you've got a family of four or more. So I wanna talk a little bit about why I think that and then we're gonna do a walk around of the tent and show you everything it has to offer. Let's get into it. So everybody has different use cases when it comes to rooftop tents. And being that we've got two kids, my wife comes sometimes, and we've got a baby on the way, finding a good rooftop tent that was able to meet all those needs has been very difficult for me. I've had three rooftop tents. I started out with the iCamper SkyCamp 2.0. It was a fine tent, it was easy to set up, it was extremely uncomfortable to my liking, and it just didn't, the build quality just didn't seem all that great to me for the price tag that I paid for that thing. And so overall, I was very disappointed in that tent. Uh, after that, I had the CVT Mount Shasta, which shares a lot of similarities with this tent, but it was way too small. Now, when I was looking for the next size up, I checked like, every single rooftop tent manufacturer I could think of, all the big name brands, and they were all still a little snug. They are all similar to that iCamper uh, I I SkyCamp 2.0 footprint, which is a little bit snug for the four of us. Um, but I came across Terra Firma Overland. Actually, they were doing a like giveaway and they're a new up and coming business and I was checking them out. Um, they had sent me a DM, Hey, let us know if you could ever get in, if we could ever get you into a new tent. And so I, I was thinking about them. And as I was browsing their website, I saw this one. And the reason why this thing stood out to me so much is specifically its size, its profile and its weight. So it measures 76 by 96 inches. I don't know of any other rooftop tents that have a sleeping area of that size. In addition to that, when it's folded down, the profile is super low um, and the weight is pretty light too. I think on the website, I'm, I'm forgetting off the top of my head, somewhere between 150, 165 pounds. Forgive me if I get that just a little bit wrong, but the day that we put this on the truck, we were astonished at how light it was. Uh, the CVT Mount Shasta hybrid that I had was actually 40 pounds heavier than that, and it was a smaller tent. And so overall, that has been a really big thing to me. Um, one of the issues that I've had with my Tacoma build over the years is you kind of get in your head what you want to do with your build, and things get super heavy and loaded down. At a certain point, my Tacoma was not fun to drive anymore. At the time, I had a heavy rooftop tent. I had a drawer system back there. I was bringing too much stuff. It was just a mess. But in this new setup, I've been extremely happy. I've been using this tent for about six months now, and the Tacoma performs really well. I haven't had to make any suspension adjustments uh, to what I already had. I do have a heavy leaf spring in the back for the camper shell, um, which I recently went back to. And overall, the setup has just been phenomenal. Now, I want to be transparent. I reached out to Terra Firma Overland and said, hey, do you guys want to work together? Um, I could make some videos in exchange for the rooftop tent. And these guys have been awesome. They've been encouraging and supportive of all my video work, uh, not just including the rooftop tent videos. And these people are awesome. So Chris and Alex, thank you so much um, for sending out this rooftop tent. It has been such a game changer for the family. Okay, so I'm actually cutting over to a different trip. And on this trip, I'm out with the whole family. And I'm more set up how I would use it with the whole family. And so I wanted to walk around the tent with how it's set up like that and give you guys a better view of how I'm actually using it. So let's start off by walking around the tent. First off, in the front right here, we've got a nice big window. On the rear, we have one as well, which we'll walk back there in a second. And then on each side we've got two massive doors which when we go inside the tent i'll give you guys a better look at um, they're propped up with some poles that go through these little pockets here and just snap into the framing right there and then they just clip into those eyelets right up top to prop up the windows 
It's a little bit of an extra step if you want to set up the windows. Not everybody does it, but I love setting them up. Just it when I get up in the morning, I like to open these windows and get a lot of light and airflow in. And so I think they're pretty nice. Now, starting over here, I'll show you guys the annex and how we've got it set up here. Now, the annex is an optional additional purchase. I picked it up recently during their Black Friday sale, and I'm really happy that I did for trips like this when the whole family is here. Maybe there's some adverse weather forecasted, and just in case we have like an area for the kids to hang out and play, um, if we need it, we can set up like a restroom in here. We also have like our suitcase with clothes and stuff, so it's a good changing area. Just a super large functional space. Um, something that I did just to make things a little bit easier is I added some extra string right here and some carabiners so that it's just real easy to roll this thing up, clip it in place. And then when we're done, we can just drop it at the evening. I like to sleep, um, with the annex, obviously all shut up, but during the day, having it nice and open like this is, uh, is super nice. So the annex has four doors. So you've got one here. So if you had like a vehicle door right here, you'd still be able to access it. Um, and then one on each side. And then you also have one right here on the side as well. And so you can really open this thing up, have a nice little sheltered area, but still feel like you're outside. And in addition to the doors, there's also, there's a door, like a hard canvas door, and then there's screen as well. And so, you can use it however you want, but I've used it on two trips now. I'm really liking it. Since it is more work to set up, not a ton of extra work now that I'm kind of getting the hang of it, it's probably something I won't bring on every single trip, but whenever the wife comes, definitely bring in it. She really liked it. And uh, if there's probably bad weather in the forecast with the kiddos, I'll probably bring it. But for the most part, um, you guys see how we rock and roll in these videos and it would be a little bit extra for me to set up on the days where we're running and gunning. Okay. So one thing I will note, um, I've had some issues kind of getting this rain fly to cover this front area right here. I know it's probably just how I'm doing it. And if I really took the time to set it up, I could probably get it right. Um, I've had this thing in the rain twice so far. And it hasn't been an issue for me. I haven't really had like any water get inside this tent. Even last weekend we were uh, out on a camping trip and the rain was pretty decent and it really wasn't a big deal for me. And so just to know on how I've set that up here, I've done it the wrong way. Don't do it like this. This little buckle right here clips on to the rain fly that is up there. I just, I'm not setting it up right and I just have been a hard time getting that the way it should be okay making our way to the back we've got our other window back here and then back here i've got the rain fly kind of set up as an awning and then there's that really large door right here which i've got one open up on the inside so when we head in there you guys will see that okay inside we've got nice standard ladder and then you come up and you've got these two boot bags um, we love using these things every single night. Um, last night, since we had the annex, I just left my boots down there. But we definitely like putting the kids' boots in here to keep them dry. Easy access when we're ready to get out of the tent in the morning. And then I've got the window propped up here so you guys can see you've got a nice massive door. If the annex wasn't on, it would be a lot more bright in here. And you probably hit a little bit more airflow, but you do have, you can see, this is that U-bar I was talking about. And you can see the silhouette of the rain fly right here. Just not quite doing that right. I need to get that figured out. Um, but you've got a nice overhang here. So even if the annex wasn't on here, you still do get some protection from the elements. Uh, like I said, I've been in two rainstorms with this so far without the annex actually and everything's been just hunky-dory. So let's come up here, and this is how I've got it actually set up for all four of us. Now, this thing, like I said earlier, at least I think I said earlier, measures 76 inches this way and 96 inches this way. 
And so when it's all four of us, I like to sleep this way. So uh, as you can kind of see, what I have here is four adult sleeping bags. Um, now our kids are little. I've just never actually bought them kids sleeping bags. Uh, you know, we've been an outdoor family forever, even pre-kids. And so I just had a lot of full size sleeping bags. So I just never made the switch. Um, so probably going to have to do that soon because we've got a baby on the way. And so to make more room, we'll have to use the kids sleeping bags, but I'm very confident that we'll be able to fit all five of us in here, especially set up like we are right now. Um, We've had a couple trips so far with all four of us and we've slept super comfortably. It's been really nice. And so get you guys a little bit better view in here. Now I probably should elephant in the room here. This is not the LED light strip that the tent comes with. I just threw that up last night because as you can see here, my son decided to use this LED light strip as monkey bars and broke the LED light strip last weekend and so real quick last night when it was getting dark i just took this extra one that i had and i threw it up here now this one is the one right right here that's above that's all distorted is the one that it comes with the tent and it is pretty cool um here's the switch i hope it's not too dark for you guys to see there's a power button on here which obviously like i said it doesn't work anymore and then there's a dimming and brightening switch and so that's the led light strip that comes with the tent very, very cool. Super bummed that Henry broke it last weekend. Um, this little front runner one is getting us by for right now, but I will probably see if I can uh, purchase a replacement one because I liked the other one better. Now up here, like I said, you've got these really large windows. First thing I do in the morning is open these things up. Right here, this little gap that you can see right here is where I run the diesel heater through. And so last night we were nice and toasty warm. It is winter right now. And then I just carry this EB3A Blue Eddy power station to run the lights, charge phones, watches, stuff like that. This is the, the one of the Stargazer windows. Uh, pretty cool if you wanna watch the stars on a nice dark night. Um, and then you've got the little eyelets straps back here. And these guys, if you want to roll it up and keep it open. Now, if you did want to not do it how we're doing it and you wanted to sleep this way, like most people do, you still do have plenty of room to sleep four people. I just think for us, being that we're all under six feet, there's definitely more room going the other way, but this way is definitely possible as well. It also comes with your standard, standard like two inch memory foam mattress which is a bit firm, but I find it to be completely comfortable for the kind of camping that I do. Um, you can always throw like an extra mat or something, or maybe like a mattress topper on top of it if this isn't quite enough for you. Uh, but something I like about the soft shell tents is I do feel like their mattresses are a bit better than some of the other uh, tents that I've experienced before. Like the iCamper mattress just wasn't cutting it for me, but this is, this is much better. Now, something I didn't mention earlier is this right here is the road cover and I took it off so that way we could run the annex. You've got to take off the road cover to be able to put on the annex. Really easy to do. I'll show you guys right here. So there's a little track. I hope you can see it, a little line right here. And it just slides into place. Super easy to do. And just another view from outside the tent such an enormous sleeping area um definitely what caught my eye about this tent was just that okay so what i really love about this tent to kind of recap what i said earlier is how lightweight it is how low profile it is and how large of a sleeping area you get in a tent like this um, i didn't really mention it earlier but it's also incredibly affordable in comparison to a lot of tents that are out on the market right now what I really thought was most important to me was just getting everybody under one roof so that we get out on these trips and experience these things as a family. I don't like sleeping on the ground anymore. And so a rooftop tent is a non-negotiable. And as my family's been growing, 
I've needed more room. And there's just not a lot of options out there that are good solutions for families. So they're either too big or too heavy or too bulky, or they don't have the sleeping area that you really need to have a comfortable night's sleep. And this kind of just checks all the boxes for me. And so that's why I reached out to Terra Firma Overland to see if they wanted to partner on doing some videos in exchange for the tent. And thankfully they did. I was really surprised. These people have been so gracious and so kind and so encouraging of all the videos that I've been putting out. So you guys need to go check out terraformaoverland.com. I've got a link in the video description that will save you 10%. It also is an affiliate link, so it will help support the channel. But the people over there are just amazing. Chris and Alex, thank you guys so much for all your support and sending me out this tent. Um, I do hope that we can get together and do a trip sometime this year, but make sure you guys check them out. Look, if you have any questions about this tent, make sure you let me know in the comment section. In addition, I also have another video coming out today on this tent, which will kind of go over the setup and installation. So make sure you check that out as well. If you're interested in this tent, um, that's it for today, you guys. We're gonna get back to our camping trip. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.